I want to show you multiple scenario analysis using Power BI. Um, I'm using a hotel revenue data set and we're going to look at three different categories that have multiple scenarios listed under them. If I can focus your attention to this chart here, we can see the current revenue in blue and then we can see a projection 2019 revenue which is our baseline. We also have the metrics listed here. We have our current revenue which is 4 million for this year, the five months of this year. We have our total revenue with a spa upsell and we have our total revenue with our breakfast upsell. And then we have last year's revenue and all three of these have the same number because we haven't selected a scenario where we have converted our guests to these different packages. So if I click worse, we can see the worst scenario would be a 30% upsell on breakfast on all room and 0% on the spa package to all adults in the room. If I click good, we can see that number dynamically change. And we can also see the track of our projection also change with the different revenue numbers. The chart on the right is our different scenarios versus our 2019 projection. If we look at the tables, we can see how that data is laid out. You can see we have the same numbers for our two scenarios and last year's revenue because last year's revenue is our projection. You can see that the current revenue goes down to May 25th and this last year's revenue is projected forward all the way to December 31st. But the calculation for last year's revenue is just using a simple calculate function with summing the revenue and taking the date add function to look one year back. This is all tied to a scenario and all of this data is connected to a different scenario. So if I click good, we can see how that changes our two upsell revenue. Our model, this is very easy. I have two parameters, which is our upsells connected to a very simple table. And this scenario table is just a column that allows me to bring in those three things and we're going to connect that scenario. So I'm going to take you through how to set this up very quickly. So the first thing we want to do is create a new scenario. And let me close this to make it a little cleaner. So we have two parameters here and I'm going to create a third parameter which represents the scenario that we want. I would go to the home tab, go to modeling, click new parameter and our parameter gives us some options. We can do whole number, decimal number, or fixed number. I want to click percentages but we can't put percentages directly in here so we're going to use a whole number and then we're going to create the percentage. My minimum is going to be zero and I want a 50% for my good scenario, a 0% for my worst scenario, and 100% for my ideal. And I'm going to put the maximum increment, let's put 50. And I default, let's leave it at zero. And we can add a slicer to the page, but we don't need that right now. And then we will create another parameter table. We have parameter one, parameter two, and parameter three. And what that gives us is it gives us that generated series, which is zero to 100 with increments of 50. And then we have a value here that we can action on. If I bring that value in and I turn this into text, I bring that in, bring that parameter in, and that'll bring in a slicer. And you can see that we can move it over to 50 to 100. Now, this is not connected to our model, so that's something we need to do. Our connecting, we need to connect this to our scenario table. And the way we do that is 
we create a calculated column. I'm going to click new column and I'm just going to say we're going to call this scenario and all we want to do is be able to say if our parameter value which is parameter value 3 equals 0 give me the worst scenario category and if so this is a nested if if a parameter value 3 equals 50 let's give me a good category in text and then we can leave all other as ideal so now we have a new column here we can go back to our model and now we have that scenario column now we have the we can connect these tables very easily by just taking the column and pulling it over or using a new relationship we want a one to many relationship so parameters at the top now if we choose our scenario we can see that these are connected and it will give us the value that we're looking for now we all we have to do is build a calculation now we can quickly create a calculation since we already have our total stays in breakfast and our upsell let's use that as our formula instead of rewriting it so if I go to our totals with so we can take this calculation we're using the calculate function with some xing through all the hotel bookings and multiplying 89.99 which and we're taking the percentage of the upsell so and then we're looking at all the years last year instead of this year because last year is our projection so I'm going to take that formula and then we're going to create a new measure and we're going to modify it so our airport pickup this time will be fifteen ninety nine and then we want not the percentage of that upsell we just created our other upsell which is our upsell three percentage and now we have last year's revenue plus the percentage that we are able to convert and I'm going to call this airport and now I can quickly drop that into our table and it's all connected and now we can see how much more money we would make if let me get rid of this in each different scenario so I'm just going to update the dashboard very quickly and now we can see how that revenue is generated for a good ideal and scenario and now I'm going to quickly update our narrative which is a very easy calculation which is just a selected value and the format so let's add one more line so we want to format we want to use the ampersand we want to do our we want to show our percentage so we show upsell three then we want a percent then we add ampersand of the we have our updated narrative and to save time I've already created the running total now we can see that we have that running total we can see how that revenue performs in each of the scenario categories.